Okay. <clears throat> okay. I think we got this. And... Don't need, just need to know someone's in his room. Go to his door. Listen. Someone's there. Keep listening. Hurry away. Go back up on top, because he's gonna have my earrings. Then I don't need to bet the earrings, so I can still plant them on Clarissa, and, Car and Carstairs won't say anything. Because I will have blackmailed him. Okay, go below. And then we're gonna go to Clarissa's room. Because we have what we need for Lady H. I don't need anything else. Knock on the door, go away. Let's talk on deck. Shit. Shit, he saw. Well, let's see what happens. key. <laughs> I, well, I don't know what I was thinking. Ah, uh, Leave. Let me go get the damn key. That's what I should have done. Oh. We <laughs> got this. <laughs> And then taking the time to get the key might get the Major out of his damn room. <laughs> if I'm lucky. Go below. I just need Clarissa's room. You don't need to get Anders' key. Malcolm's jacket. Look in the pockets. Take the key. Done. Leave the room. Go to... So he's still there. Where'd Carcers go? I mean, where did the Major go? He's still there. Or does he leave? Okay. should maybe talk to her first just to get that conversation out of the way because I have to leave and come back anyway if I don't have that conversation with her hello I'll go talk to Clarissa Stand, put the pills on the nightstand, and then we're just gonna leave the room. And 
leave. We'll talk to Clarissa so it doesn't look suspicious that we didn't actually like call her and ditch her. Oh wait, it's quite possible someone's listening? I wasn't paying attention. Can't have seen him. I don't know what you're talking about. Do you think he killed himself? Heard enough. There, we had an argument. Oh! shouldn't be creeping up on me. I'm not creeping up on you. What the frick? I'm not... Did you say Logerdell? I don't know who's at the... No! No, he's not here. Put my hands up. What? I wasn't creeping up on you. If I have to, I'm not... here... To you have a tongue on you, Veronica. That's weapon enough, and you know it. Stand down. I'm not here to bother you. I was doing stuff. <sighs> frick! Holy frick! Wow! Do you know your friend has a gun? Did you know that? Do I have time to even ask? I feel like I need to ask. I probably can't. I don't care what my husband said. Nope. Nope. Try not to. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. I'm going away. I don't think I have time to do this. This just takes so much time. Knock. I'm just gonna say thank you. I'm gonna move on because I don't have time. Step away. <laughs> We might make it. <laughs> we might make it. <sighs> Show the photograph. Doesn't matter how. Give me the photograph. Go ahead, take it. And 
Now you're just giving it to me? You're your own man. Snatches the picture before I change my mind. Then he smiles and he tears into the, into the glass window, flutter into the sea. How's that feel? I could sound the horn. She's got plenty more. I saw you last night on deck. So did she. She doesn't let people go. We need to destroy her. We'll never be free. You're a commander. No one on this boat can prove otherwise. Oh, that's why he doesn't say anything. Because Lady H could prove him wrong. If you say you saw something, people will believe you. I'll say whatever you need me to say. Get everyone in the room somehow, I'll skewer her. <laughs> it's a deal. Kiss him. <laughs> Call me Ambrose. I can ship to command. I got his real name! We're about to get, um... We're about to get called, but I'll go down here. Have you spoken? No, uh, I have. Not interested. Talk to the major. How long were you in the- I wanted to do the can you help me? I just thought I could, you know. Ah, there we go. You're, you're gonna, there we go. You got there. All right, let's see if this works. He's been missing since last night. I keep saying that. She told me this already. She says she saw him through. It's ludicrous. It's in very poor taste. I see Lady Armstrong on deck. I did see something fall off the ship. Who did you see with my husband? Anders is trying hard not to smile. With my post last night, I had a good view. There was no one else there. Only Malcolm Valenzi. Lady Armstrong, too. Oh! Malcolm was standing with a woman. Yes, he was. The woman was you. What were you doing up there? I was doing no thing, you silly girls, taking a turn around deck. Mr. Valenzi was sitting on the rail. Lady Armstrong came up to speak to him, and then something fell. I saw him fall. Watch your tongue. You know what I can do. Not right now, you can't. I'm the first officer aboard this ship! This woman's been blackmailing me. The truth is the truth. It must come out. This is nonsense. Why would I want to kill Mr. Valenzi? Because you were blackmailing him? What? How did I possibly? He was an idiot. He married you over his affair with Clarissa. He was too stupid to be blackmailed. I think he threatened to expose you, so he pushed him into the sea. I, uh, also, his advances, her advances would also be interesting. Because the... Nothing but jumped up cabin boy. He's a war-decorated officer. Show some respect. You got any proof? Just give me back my photo. What photo? I'll get you. Because <laughs> if we said she made advances and then the the um the staff could come forward and be like, yeah, she's made advances on me too. She's gone. She might not swing for murder. There's plenty to keep them busy. And ferrying that bloody woman back and forth across the Atlantic for years. Can you just tip her over? People like 
You can strug off a scorpion, a bit of notoriety makes you more attractive. No one really wants to believe you killed someone, but someone like me, they look for a reason. So what now? I don't know. Wonderful feeling. Another drink? You bring your hat? Rarely take it off, ma'am. <laughs> we got it! Finally! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lady Honora Armstrong was arrested and accused of murder and blackmail. Oh! This is that Anders brought her to justice. Nice, a high class crime fighting duo is born. I love it. Oh, we. We. <laughs> I didn't kill everybody yet, though. <laughs> so this would be... Oh! John is Inkle's co-founder and narrative director. He's won the Writers Guild of Great Britain Award for Best Writing twice. His talks of narrative design are used in major studios around the world. Senior developer built the scores of tools and libraries used to bring Overboard to life. Inkle's co-founder brings a unique mix of graphic design, talent, and programming skill. Built the engine. Anastasia's Inkle's illustrator, character, costume designer with incredibly versatile eye. Public relations consultant specializing in narrative games. Promoted Inkle's games since 2013. And Flipper the Dolphin? <laughs> she made dolphin noises? So this was a game that they made, I think in about a hundred days, I think is what I found. With the COVID lockdown, everybody was feeling just, well, you can kind of imagine how everybody was feeling. And so they were like, Let's just make a quick game that's fun and short. And they didn't really advertise it, they just kind of put it out there as a surprise. But it was just a, a project for everyone to do and like step aside from the long-term project that they were working on and just revitalize. So it's a neat little game. They've also done I think it's around the world in 80 days, and it's kind of like this, except I don't think you... you repeat the same day. It's just 80 different days where you make these kind of choices that can snowball into each other from what I've heard. I haven't played it myself. But I've heard that it is also pretty good. Recordings by the U.S. Army. Oh! So there's still a few things I want to do. I don't know... We still have to kill everybody on the boat. That needs to happen. <laughs> I think that's about it, really. Well, now there's a few other achievements that we haven't gotten. So I'm gonna have to look at those. I may use a walkthrough just to like, make sure I get everything. And I definitely, I definitely wanna see if I get Elsa's name and then try to talk to her. Will that do anything? Maybe not, but...
I got a little bit of respect for Anders back. I was like, why won't he say anything? I don't understand. woman is one tough cookie. <laughs> they said they designed the game first by designing first class, Veronica and then coming up with characters they thought would be fun to have arguments with her. <laughs> Everyone's favorite Western performer was spotted today attending Mass in London. Devotion to the Lord is well known. <laughs> For Christmas solo performances? Really? We stood together at the rail, Malcolm and I. I told him I could see dolphins playing in the wake of the boat. He leant over to see them. That one looks like your mother, Malcolm? So I grabbed him by the belt. Straight to hell with you. And I threw him overboard. Can I get someone to confess? Wait, 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 wait. Can I kill Lady H and get away with it? I don't know. Get someone to confess? How do I get someone to confess? Okay. Uh, I did do the achievement to get someone to confess and it turns out that if you take one of Clarissa's love poems from her cabin and then show it to Clarissa and then tell her that Malcolm gave it to you and you basically say that the two of you laughed uh, about it together um actually no that's not that's that's a different achievement you can tell her that Malcolm showed it to you before he threw himself overboard, and then Clarissa believes that because of the affair with her, it drove him to guilt and made him jump overboard. Uh, I'm not gonna show those, um, because they made me really sad. <laughs> Manipulating someone's mental health just isn't cool, and I really... I really do feel like Malcolm used Clarissa, like he was into her because he realized that he could manipulate her in a way that he couldn't manipulate um, our main character here. <laughs> like she is too headstrong and she's going to get her own way and he saw Clarissa as someone that he could just completely gaslight and do whatever he wanted. So. So yeah, that just made me sad. I didn't like that. We're just, I'm just not. Anyway, well, we're we're gonna do something fun. We we're gonna do a fun thing. We're gonna kill everyone. We're gonna try to kill everyone, and then we're just gonna call it a night on this game. Come in. Also, I did look this up. Uh, killing everybody involves more than I thought it did. Uh, like this this gentleman here except I'm not sure I haven't seen him if I do I'll tell him it's time for breakfast but then how do I get him hmm let me reset because this is telling me I have to get him into the room somehow. <clears throat> Come in. He's taking a bath. He's a brute, I know. One more thing. Gosh, it was so big. Oh! The dolphin shaped paperweight. I knew that had to be important for something. Dolphin is dripping blood on the carpet. Okay, what do I do? 
Uh, I guess. Under the bed? What's under the bed? There's a lot of space. There's something else under there too? A key? What the frick? What? What? Oh nice, I have his pass key. Search his- no, no, push him under the bed. His head's too big. Take him under the bed. <sighs> Hide his foot. <sighs> now he's gone. I'm so sorry. The dolphin. I'm sure I have to kill the maid as well. Or do I not need to kill the maid as well? I don't know. Pick it up. Oh, I now carry it. Oh, I could have kept hold of it. Oh well. Okay, uh, let's just get moving. <laughs> um... Oh. Go to the bridge. Stall. I need to... I need to wait because, um... Anders... I need Anders to be at the, uh... Okay. I think time will progress. So Anders should be up there now. Wait, look, dolphins. There's something down there. Definitely there. Push him overboard! Oh, oh no, it should have been... Oh, what the frick? You said he would be there, reset. <laughs> Lies! <laughs> Let's see if Anders is up there. Because I need him to be up here. Hello there, my shift, of course. Go back down. Okay, now he's here. Now we will push Carcers over. I thought if it would flip over, it wouldn't matter, but... There we go. Clarissa's door. Knock on her door. Knock again. Meet me on deck. Do it for Malcolm. Duck out of sight. Step away. Leave. Go back up here. You're upset. Can't have seen him. Is that your porthole?
Four down. <coughs> Happy together. Honestly, don't think you had that in you. She slipped. Of course she did, dear. I suppose Malcolm slipped last night as well. I glance up towards the bridge. I think I can see Anders at the wheel. Can you show me where she went over? I can't see anything. Down there, she steps to the rail triumphantly. Push her over. <laughs> Jeez Louise! Oh man. Okay, so you guys are here. Did I go down? Oh man. Where's the maid? Do I not need to kill the maid? <laughs> I don't even remember when she shows up. Good day! You seem quite at home here. My husband liked to play. Played here last night. Do you play? Surely you've played with him. Where is your husband? I don't know. He's missing since last night. Be spoken. I don't care what she has to say. Don't say anything. Play some solitaire. Play more solitaire. Have you seen my friend, Mr. Carstairs? I'm accustomed to his company here, but I've not seen him since dawn. What were you doing at dawn? He brings me tea on deck after I finish my prayers. Perhaps he's still there. Maybe he's watching the dolphins. You should go and look. Nods and leaves the room. Stand. Leave. Ooh. Ooh. The hilt of his dagger sticks out of his belt. What if I just push him overboard? Maybe he's not so easy to push overboard. Shaped almost like a dolphin? Can I just push him overboard? I would love to just push everybody overboard. Nope. Can't just topple him. He leans out further to get a better view. Let me help you? I could hold on to you while you lean out. Best not. It's a heavy responsibility for a lady. I ready the knife, grab it forward into his back. He lurches over the rail. The blade's the only thing keeping him on the boat. Pull out the blade. Pull the blade free and the major drops. The splash doesn't come. <gasps> He's caught the rail! You were looking for Mr. Carcers? He's down there. All that's sacred, help me up pry his fingers free. Twist the knife. Holy crap, how do you hold on? Ah! Anders comes skimming down the ladder from the bridge. Veronica, I saw what you did. Malcolm, I can understand, but the Major? Oh, really? Look, Anders, dolphins. There are no dolphins in the Atlantic, Veronica. He's careful to stand away from the rail. I had to do it. I do understand. You were trapped. You had no choice. I've been there. But I can't just let you walk away. Not from this. Oh no! Pick up the knife! I don't think you take me seriously. 
I hate it when people don't take me seriously. They didn't take me seriously as an actress. I told them I could act any part. Calm, logical, crazy, emotional, lover, fighter, anything. They wouldn't even let me try. America's a whole new world, Veronica. Maybe you'll get your chance to start again. I don't want to start again. I want this all to be over. I want to win. No one wins, Veronica. Life doesn't work like that. We get by. We try to make things better. What you're doing now, it can't make things better. <sighs> I killed everyone. What? What is happening? What is happening? <laughs> His skin is turning gray. His long... What is... I'm going mad. I hate dolphins. What the frick? What is going on? What the frick? What? We swim away as dolphins? Does that way? <laughs> There's something in the water, I don't believe it. Dolphins? Wonderful. We got our freedom! <laughs> Dolphins travel in family groups. Arrived in the harbor where several passengers believed to be missing. Nothing about Elsa. Huh. Veronica Lindsay quits the stage. She's leaving theater forever after humiliation on stage at the Dolphin Theater. The beloved actress broke down in tears during the opening night performance of, I don't even know, the theater's decorated with several dolphin motif carvings. Mrs. Lindsay was said to believe they were looking at her. Oh man. The fear of dolphins is rare, but can be very acute and suffers. Oh my goodness. Wow, I... This game continues to surprise me <laughs> right to the end. Oh, anyway, that's going to that's going to conclude our playthrough. I hope you enjoyed